morning morning um i thought i'd do a vlog because um well i haven't done one for a little while and a few people were um asking where's your vlogs and i'm like i don't know um why haven't i done one i think life just kind of gets in the way sometimes of doing things doesn't it and um to do one because i'm not very good at speaking um or putting my emotions across or anything like that. I have to have a bit of an empty household because uh, otherwise we'd end up with children and dogs and God knows what in the vlog with us um, and not a lot would get said. Um, so how have things been? Well, I think um, up and down is probably the best way of describing it. Um, obviously I went in um, week or so ago to have the Pembro. Um, Pembro is a bit of a slow burning drug so you wouldn't expect to see any reaction straight away um, and I have to say I think some of the skin um, tumours are getting bigger. Um, they're all sort of in areas where I can't really show you but let's <clears> see <throat> properly. No you can't really see that one. There's a big one here on my neck. It's a big lump here in my neck. Um, I've got this one on my head here. I've got a chain of them down my um, um, neck, going in, uh, sort of going into my lower head region. Um, this one here. And then I've got one like that under the armpit, and then one round the back of the armpit, and then one within the breast tissue. Um, I've got quite a few on my abdomen that look like that, one on my leg, one on my groin. Um, uh, so they're all over the place um, and they're really quite tender um, where they're growing, um, which is <laughs> uncomfortable. But we have to get on with things. It just um, stops you doing things like uh, sleeping on your favourite side or... Um, I don't know, any little things like that where the kids sort of jump on you and put their bony elbows in, like it hurts ten times more than it should do. And bony elbows, they blooming hurt when a child decides to come and sit on your lap and bony elbow you. Um, so, yeah, from that perspective, it's really disappointing because I can see everything growing. Um, neurologically, things um, appear to be sound still. Obviously, that's the concern is... Of, um, we can see things growing on the skin and then, then they'll be growing in other places um, and so that's my biggest sort of fear really is waking up and not being able to talk or waking up um, and not being able to move and get out of bed or indeed just being around the house and having some sort of seizure or fit um, and I feel like I'm kind of waiting for that to happen um, and that sort of partly stops me from doing things. Um, the other part that stopped me from doing things has been pain control. Not being brilliantly in control of my pain. And so I get a lot of um, sort of neuropathic skin pain. I guess where the tumours are growing and they make your skin feel all fluey and horrible. Um, so that's been a pain. Um, but life goes on, doesn't it? Life goes on. We've had the um, palliative care team round to the house and they've um, sort of been assisting me with an um, advanced care plan. So you sort of um, think about what treatment you would like in certain situations if you weren't able to verbalise your wishes and also filled out a treatment um, escalation plan. So, you know, one which would indicate that I wouldn't want resuscitating in certain circumstances. Um, so all of that's been done now. Um, that knocked me out for a couple of days, actually. I was um, quite emotionally sort of taken to a different place, in a way, with that little conversation. Not one that you would have every day. Um, and it didn't actually phase me having it, but afterwards I was just completely zonked so there must have been part of me somewhere that um, 
it had taken quite a lot of strength, obviously, to have those conversations without maybe having a little cry or um, whatever, having a bit of a breakdown during the meeting. It, and as a result of that, I think the sort of a few days afterwards, I was recovering from that conversation, so to speak. Um, due to go back up to Manchester on the um, Monday, I think it's Monday the 28th of November, and I'll be having a head scan and also um, another dose of Pembro. Um, Hopefully nothing will happen in between that will change those plans. Um, going up to my mum's on the weekend before actually and then going from my mum's house because it's her 70th birthday, so she's got a big one coming up. Um, which is very exciting for her. Not. Although she thinks she's 70 already. She's been going on about it ever since I've been in hospital. I am 70, you know. I'm just like, no, you're not. You're only 69. Oh, you girls. So, uh, oh, she's finally finished my hat as well. So I'll get to try on my hat. Even if my hair's going back. I've got a bit of a fuzz going on now. Haven't quite got the straighteners on it yet. Be worried that it might all fall out again if I put the straighteners on it. So, all I want for Christmas is hair. <laughs> no, it's not actually. Uh, we did um, think that because Paddy uh, and the kids had decided that actually I should um, ask Father Christmas for some hair. And so um, in the Christmas morning, I should wake up with um, a big Rapunzel wig on to surprise them uh, that Father Christmas has actually given me some hair. <laughs> so uh, still thinking about doing that two-minute two uh, shock that it gives them on their faces. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, um, so I'm okay. I'm just toddling on with life. Obviously, I've got huge worries and concerns, which I can't fit on a blog of this length. Um, who wouldn't have worries and concerns? I think it would be odd not to have worries and concerns. But um, at the moment, I think the most important thing is just getting on with the day-to-day, everyday sort of life because uh, I, I do have things like people will say, oh, well, you know, you must have a bucket list or you must have this or you must have that. And it's just like, well, I kind of do. I mean, I have achieved quite a bit of things in my life, but um, I, I don't know what to put on a bucket list. I guess I could put it out there for people. But I'm quite happy as long as my family and friends and um, people are happy. You know, I don't need to go jumping out of an aeroplane to get that sense of well-being. Because I have it as long as my family are safe and well. Um, so, yeah. But um, maybe I should think about a bucket list, but then I can't plan more than one day in advance, so I don't quite know how I'd go and achieve the bucket list. And then I'd feel like it was a sense of um, I haven't achieved what I was meant to achieve in a day, uh, you know, a day or a week or a year or whatever. So um, I think they're very good. I just, uh, at the moment, I can't get my head around planning one. Anyway. So I'm waffling again now. So I'll sign off and we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.